Hello and welcome to the episode 220 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Among other things, today we'll see the Beatles continuing their Channel Islands tour, a remix of Hey Jude and the photo shooting for the iconic Abbey Road's cover. On the 18th of August 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums, performed a lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, the 30th time from the start of their career. One year later, in 1962, the same lineup of the Beatles performed in Doncaster at the Co op Barroom. The trip was graciously allowed by the Cavern Club management, who excused the absence of the band from one of their regular Wednesday evening engagements. In 1963, the Beatles, now featuring Ringo Starr on drums, were at the auditorium in St. Peter Port, Gansey, for the third of five Channel Islands nights booked by promoter John Smith. The band made the 30 mile between Jersey and Gansey, about 50 kilometers, in a 12-seater plane, while their equipment reached them by ferry. The Beatles played two houses this evening, the first at 7 and the second at 9.15, supported by Vic Sutcliffe, Les Dell, the Rob Charles Combo, the Robert Brothers and Mike Kelly. Fast forward to 1968. Today's session at the EMI Studios started with the production of a mono remix of Hey Jude. The initial transfer of the Trident studio tape to the Abbey Road facilities was not really up to standard, according to engineer Ken Scott. This caused a bit of discussion between the Beatles and their producer George Martin, but, on re-listening the 6th of August mix, everyone agreed with Scott about the lack of bite in the sound. The new mix featured more high-end frequencies and was considered good enough for the single issue. Following the remix, the Beatles recorded another 51 takes of the Not Guilty Rhythm track, this time with John Lennon on harpsichord instead of electric piano. The session, started at 6.40 pm, was concluded at 6.30 am, with several reduction mixes. Not Guilty was the first song recorded by the Beatles, passing the 100 takes mark. I, instead, have well passed the 200 mark on the making of this podcast, but I'm still curious to know what you think about it. If you like the work so far, please share it with your friends and visit www.simonmas.com support to see what else you can do to ease the production of more music-related content for our growing community here. Thank you for being fab and making the difference. We can close the episode with two events of relevance happened on the 8th of August 1969. In the morning, starting at 11.35, the Beatles and photographer Ian McMillan arranged to take the iconic picture that would grace the cover of their next album, Abbey Road, just outside the EMI studios. The idea of the photo was Paul's, but McMillan was a friend of John and Yoko. Linda McCartney also took a number of photographs of the Beatles getting ready and waiting for the official shooting. Macmillan took the photos from a stepladder in the middle of the road, with the help of a policeman who stopped the traffic. Only six photos were taken, and only two of them had Paul walking barefoot. Macmillan also took a picture of a street corner for the back cover of the album. After the photo session, the Beatles returned inside the EMI studios to record drums and bass over dubs on the end. Drums and white noise, generated with George Smoke synth on I Want You, and lead guitar and tambourine, later discarded, on Oh Darling. The sessions took place between 2.30 and 9.45 pm in Studio 2 and 3. Tomorrow we'll talk about further work on the White Album. Today's episode is over. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.